The Linear Expression, a wondrous tool that enables you to create powerful relationships between elements in your motion work. Linear assesses a variable and transforms a defined range of values into another. Here I have a speedometer that goes up to 180 miles per hour. I can drive this by putting in the actual speed and it will be represented accurately. And, and if I go up to 180 miles per hour and beyond, the dial will max out at 180, even though the speed goes beyond. And the same applies for zero. So if I go below zero, that dial is not going below. Let's see how we've done this. Look, boy. Here's a version of the composition with everything reset. So what do we do first? We need to find the angle at which this dial hits zero. That'll be minus 125 in my case. And same with 180. For me, that's 127. So now we have the angle at which it's zero and the angle at which it's 180. So the next step is to create a speed slider. So we're going to have a slider control. I'm going to name this speed. Let's set this to 66 for now. And then we'll go to the rotation and we'll define that variable as s okay and then we'll say uh, linear when it's 0 to 180 i would like this to be minus 125 to 127 okay so what that's doing is it's saying look at s when s is 0 to 180 so that's the first range of values transform this to these second set of values so minus 125 to 127 so what that does, immediately, that represents our dial accurately on this speedo. And I can change this up and down and you can see it's working now, okay? And also, if I go up to 180 and beyond, it's also clamped. Because the way the linear works is it clamps the values, so you can't go beyond the range. It will just get maxed out, it will get capped at those defined range limits. So that's linear. Now let's see how we can use it in some interesting ways.